Hi, this is Margot Poro for the BC Learning Network talking to you again about patterns and relations. Can you create a t-table for a growing block pattern and identify rules for number patterns using t-tables? Everyone likes to play with blocks. The pictures here show several stages in the construction of a castle made out of blocks. Imagine that we need to keep track of the number of blocks used in each stage of the construction. A simple way to keep track of how many blocks are needed for each stage is to make a table. This table is called a T-table. Notice how the central part of the chart resembles a T? That's how it got its name. Let's fill in the number of blocks used in each stage of construction. Figure 1 uses 4 blocks. Figure 2 uses 6 blocks. Figure 3 uses 8 blocks. Notice how the numbers in the table change. The number of blocks in each successive figure increases by 2. We can show that just like we did in increasing and decreasing patterns by adding the numbers in the side. If you can state the pattern rule, you can continue a pattern to figure out the number of blocks for additional stages of castle construction. You can draw quick and easy t-tables in your notebooks. Take a look. Always use a ruler, please. And you draw a straight line across and a line down. And by looking at the question, you can kind of anticipate how many lines you need underneath the crossbar of your t. Draw a t-table in your notebook with four lines under the crossbar on the t. Pause the video and do this now to prepare for the first question you'll do in your notebook. Then press play to continue. Here is a different castle. First, can you predict the gap between terms in the t-table? How many blocks are added each time? We know the gap between terms is three because the castle has three towers and you add one block to each tower at every stage of construction. Pause the video and complete your t-table. Write a pattern rule in a sentence. Then press play again to check your answer. You can write figure one that starts with seven blocks and you can continue the pattern. Figure two required 10 blocks. Figure three required 13 blocks. And figure four required 16 blocks. The pattern rule that you were to put in a sentence should resemble this. Start at seven and add three blocks each time. Make corrections if you need to, then continue. Number two. If this were a castle, I wonder what it would look like. How many towers would it have? If the pattern shown on the T table were to continue, how many blocks would be needed for figures four and five? After you pause the video, sketch a quick T table in your notebook and complete the table for figures four and five. Pause the video and do this now. Then press play to check your answer. You can see that five is added each time. That means that there are likely five towers in the castle. To continue the table, we had to figure out the pattern rule. Start with 13 blocks and add five blocks each time. So we can extend the T table and continue on. Figure four required 28 blocks and figure five required 33 blocks. How many blocks are needed if a pattern continues for a sixth figure? After you pause the video, sketch a quick t-table in your notebook with a space under the crossbar for figures one to six. Pause the video and complete your table now. Then press play to check your answer. Your table should have started with the titles for figure and blocks. Figure one required seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Figure two required 10 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's an increase of three blocks from figure one. 
Figure 3 required 13 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's an increase of three blocks again. So you can see your pattern rule is clearly becoming evident. We continue the same pattern. Figure 4 required 16 blocks. Figure 5 requires 19 blocks. And a sixth figure requires 22 blocks. Start with seven blocks and add three blocks each time. Here's an alphabet design. After you pause the video, sketch a quick tea table in your notebook and complete the table to find the terms for the six figures. You can use the title figures here, and instead of blocks, we're using dots, so you might want to put the title dots here. And make sure in your notebook that you have room for six lines down here because you're doing six figures. Pause the video and do this now, and then press play to check your answer. Here we've added the title figure and dots. Figure one had nine dots. And then there was an increase of four. Two dots were added to the bottom and one to each arm. One, two, three, four additional dots. So figure two used 13 dots. An additional four dots were added to figure three. One, two, three, four. So figure three used 17 dots. And if we continue this pattern, we don't even need pictures. Figure four, you will use 21 dots. Figure five, we'll use 25 dots. And figure six will require 29 dots. Here's a challenge for you. This is tricky. The following t-table gives the number of blocks used in building a structure. The same number of blocks were added each time. Let's look at how to find the missing numbers. Then you'll be able to try one of these questions on your own. So if you look, we have three gaps between 7 and 13. From 7 to 13 is a total gap of 6. What number can be added three times to make up this gap of 6? 2, 4, 6. 2 can be added 3 times to make up the gap of 6. Then we can add in the number of blocks in the table, and it is complete. So something that looked really tricky was really not so tricky. Here's one for you to try in your notebook. Make a quick sketch of a t-table, copy the numbers that are on the existing t-table, and then see if you can find the lost numbers. Pause the video and do this now, then press play to check your answer. So we had to find out that there were three gaps missing numbers, and the total gap from 4 to 13 is a gap of 9. What number could be added three times to make 9? 3 can be added three times to make 9. So 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. And 13 plus 3 is 16 for a complete chart. Thank you for watching this video.